Hello everybody, my name is Rusty and welcome to my channel. I've purchased my first German Stahlhelm uh, from the Second World War. It's an M42 as you can see by the rolled edge and you can also see that it has some really terrible post-war white applied paint. Uh, my guess is it's acrylic. Uh, apparently somebody tried making a whole lot more money by faking a snow camo helmet and the whole helmet, bottom half anyway, looks like this. So you can see around the split pins, and you can see all around the bottom edge. It looks really terrible. And you can even see they placed a the fake decal here uh, from the seller that I bought this from. He said the decal was pretty terrible, so I'm just gonna take his word on it. But uh, as you can see, the whole helmet isn't covered that's good I can work with this um, like I said before this is my first German helmet my first World War II helmet of any kind I'm, v I'm very excited about what it could possibly look like when this is over so but anyways this split pin was totally covered uh, about 20 minutes ago but I took a q-tip with some acetone and I cleared it off so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you the acetone method. Well, actually, we're, I'm going to learn the acetone method with you. Um, that I know of, I don't know of any videos out on YouTube that show how to remove post-war paint with acetone. So, this is going to be a first for all of us. So, a little nervous. It's my first. I don't want to damage it or ruin it. But I've heard that this is a really good method to use. So... We're going to try it. So these are the materials I'll be using today. Uh, obviously, acetone. It doesn't matter which brand you use, I guess. <laughs> uh, Q-tips for detailed parts like uh, the vent holes and the split pins. Um, I might not get every bit of paint from around the split pins, but I'm going to try. Um, the spray bottle is filled with water so I can spray the acetone off. Um, can't leave acetone on it too long. Um, I know you guys are wondering, will it damage the paint underneath? Well, there's always a chance for that. There's always a chance for something stupid to go wrong. But I'm not too concerned about it. Um, apparently acetone works really good on newer paint. And that's what that paint is, newer paint. Uh, the World War II era paint is extremely hard. So I doubt you can damage it uh, unless you have it soaking for too long. Um, cotton balls for the rest of the helmet, obviously, and paper towels for wiping off the excess water I spray onto the helmet. Now, you guys are wondering about the inside. It does have the original liner, an original chin strap, although the chin strap is damaged. Uh, liner isn't in the best condition, but it's in pretty good condition, and you can't see it. There is a dome stamp, but I'm not able to read it. And there's also a really cool 77 painted on by a soldier or somebody. I guess a soldier. Um, my personal theory is it's from the 77th Wehrmacht Division, but I'm not 100% sure. You can never tell. Um, this is a CKL helmet. So it was... I think ET at one point, but now it's CKL. This was later in the war, in 1944, somewhere around there. And the lot number is 4291. So, just thought you guys would like to see that. So, without further ado, let's start on the paint.
as you can see fellas uh, there is some white paint left in very small crevices I'm probably not going to be able to get that out I'm okay with that I'm not too concerned with it it looks a whole lot better than what it did um, so far I am very happy with how this is going this is actually going a little bit quicker than I thought it would but um, I will take my time towards the end a bit but so far this whole section has been mostly clean there's a little bit of haze right along here but I can fix that alrighty guys I already moved around uh, most of the other half of the helmet um, of course I'm going to touch it up a little here and there uh, so far so good I'm noticing that the paint is shinier in some areas than others but I believe that is wartime um, paint uh, the M42's put later in the war they're notorious for having bad steel parts um, sloppy paint jobs um, decals were always placed sloppily so it's not really an M42 thing but you definitely seem to know some later in the war because they just didn't care at that time it was just too expensive to have higher grade steel and it, like I said it just took too much time to worry about you know decal placement paint and whatnot and towards the end of the war they just didn't have decals on some M42s so so a little bit of the paint white paint residue is drying uh, because the acetone evaporates extremely quickly so it's drying some uh, but like I said I'm not too worried about it a little bit of a redo and we're good again so get around the vent hole real quick as you can see there's patchy rust in some spots uh, that is not my doing thank goodness <laughs> I was there before so like I said not too worried I'm actually very pleased at how nicely this is going I honestly thought I would be destroying the helmet by now but for first time not really knowing what I'm doing I think I'm doing okay Luster, if you will it's a little duller and I think what happened was the faker applied some kind of lacquer or something on the helmet so it's a little more shiny than it should have been and that's quite all right because German helmets weren't exactly made to be shiny shiny per se 
uh, I know the M42s, they're kind of made to look dull. So there is a little bit of shine left to the helmet, but not a lot. And like I said, that's okay. Um, pretty much all the white paint is gone now, except for a few spots on the rim and right there on the split pin. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna borrow this Q-tip, dip it in the acetone. Maybe. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna work around it. And I'm not getting it all off. Uh, I'm just getting most of it off. Uh, I might take a toothpick to that. I don't know. I really don't want to. I'm not sure if I damaged the paint or not. But as you can see, it's pretty good. Split pin looks a little better now. Uh, yeah, closer in I, I, on the camera, I, I can see there's still white paint left, but uh, that will be taken care of. And there we have it, folks. My first Stahlhelm, all cleaned up. It actually looks pretty good. I love the results. Uh, there's still slight little spots, you know, where the helmet has pitted, uh, that there's a little bit of white paint left, but that's okay. Uh, there's really not a lot I can do about it. Uh, there's still a little bit right here. I might get rid of that. Might not. Probably not. But at any rate, the helmet looks great. I love it now. Well, I loved it before, but I love it more. I just love it. So, anyways, there's that decal remnant. I'm just I'm gonna have to look look real closely, see what uh what's up with that. I doubt it's original. I really do. I don't really see a lot of patina on it. So I don't know if there's a way to remove that. I'm sure there is. But at any rate, just a beautiful M42 Stahlhelm. Just just love it. I love it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I don't know if I was boring or not, but that's the video you're going to get. <laughs> so if you like it, leave a like. If you don't like it, Leave a dislike. I don't care. It's America or Europe, wherever you're watching. I don't know. You know how it is. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. All right, I'll see you later.